Good evening, YouTube. Duty Ron back again with another video. Guys, we're going to talk about tonight crazy, crazy news out of New York. 10 o'clock news. I watched it. I heard about it today. New York City Police Department faked by a movie prop. Uh, somebody placed a baby that appeared to be deceased on a sidewalk. It was a movie prop, realistic, very realistic. Whoever did this tricked the largest police department in the world, one of the best investigating police departments in the world, the NYPD, the police department that I work for, tricked today by a movie prop. Not only was the police department tricked, the fire department was tricked, and the crime scene unit was tricked. Total, total bizarreness. I'm going to roll the video for you guys so you can watch it. But good evening, DJ, DJ Janice Wolf. Hello, Lab 15, Sensible Crime. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you for joining. Um, pretty embarrassing, I got to say. Uh, in the two plus decades that I was a police officer and detective, I've never, ever, ever heard of this. How are you, Meg? Good to see you. Never have I heard of this in my two plus decades of being a police officer in New York City. Have I ever heard of our crime scene unit and our... Uh, police uh, patrol force being tricked. Uh, now, the baby was uh, left on the sidewalk. It was a movie prop or something from that could be used in a high-quality movie prop, and it tricked the very best police department in the world. Hello, Christine. Deco Paint. Good to see you. Let me, uh, let me invite. I'm, I'm only going to be live for about five, ten minutes, so let me just invite on to Twitter. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they catch whoever did this because it is a tremendous waste of police resources, but it also created a lot of, um, it created a lot of anguish, mental anguish, as you can consider. It's, it's, a, it's a park, it's opposite a park in a residential neighborhood, so a lot of people were upset, you know. Hello, Van Beek, good to see you, thank you for joining. Hello, Deidre, good to see you, thank you, Christina. Uh, Christine Garen, thank you so much for joining. Appreciate it. Janice Wolf, Atticor, good to see you. Hello, uh, Little Dove, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, let me just make a community post. Uh, but I feel... Uh, I feel that this is... Uh, this is something that should be punishable by some type of crime, but I don't even know of what crime could be uh, charged against somebody if they catch them uh, utilizing uh, police resources unnecessarily. So it would be obstructing governmental administration, which is just a really low-level misdemeanor. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it is definitely an idiotic waste of police resources. I agree. Hello, Meg. Uh, I'm going to play the video for you so you can see it. Hello, Boxing MMA. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, so, guys, if you don't mind, please, hello, LaGrace. Good to see you. Please invite on to Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, whatever social media you use. I greatly appreciate that. I'm going to um, put a tweet out right now. So this way, anybody that's watching uh, that didn't get the notification will have an opportunity to get the notification by a second method. So I just sent out a tweet. And I'm going to let you guys watch the video right now. So let's let's go to it. Uh, and for those of you who might be squeamish, just a, a, a disclaimer. This is um, a, a prop. It's not a real baby. It's a doll that's uh, made up to look just like a real baby. And it tricked the responding police, not just the police officers, their supervisors. It tricked EMS, the emergency medical services. It tricked the um, the fire department, and then crime scene was there. And then once the medical examiner's office showed up, that's when it was. So this thing went on for about two hours. So it is a it was a thorough embarrassment to the police department and all the agencies that were involved. So uh, not a not a good one. This is a kind of a black eye, uh, if you will, for all the departments. Um, so let me, let me cue this up. Uh, I got about three videos to show you guys. So let me cue it up and let you guys see it. Stand by a moment. Uh, my name's Ian Brunich. Hold on, guys. New Jersey. Just 
Just give me two seconds. Hey, how are you, Caitlin? Good to see you. Hello, Marta. Good to see you. Thank you. Finally got the notification, says Meg. Excellent. I'm glad you got the notification, Meg. Uh, a lot of times notifications go to spam folders, and that's been happening a lot too. So uh, we always got to check our spam folders. Always got to check them. Hello, Gavin. Good to see you, Gavin. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, let's let's roll this. Well, Sade, things aren't always what they seem. Isn't that the truth? Unfortunately, police and EMS, they learned that the hard way today after the medical examiner got here. Now, the good news is there was never any dead baby here. The bad news, cops and EMS did not know that. It certainly looked like a real crime scene here on 215th Street in Bayside, and a horrifying one at that. But here's what was under that sheet, a very lifelike doll. At 7.42 this morning, a resident calls 911, reporting what appeared to be a deceased baby. At 7.58 a.m., EMS declared it deceased. What we now know is it wasn't till close to 11 a.m. that the city's medical examiner's office declared it not a real baby. It's nonsense, like bringing out all these cops and just finding out it's a fake doll. And it's just insane. EMS did no physical examination of the doll and still unclear why. The FDNY put out this statement today saying, quote, it appeared to be a baby with discoloration consistent with signs of prolonged death. But thankfully, it was actually a lifelike prop. EMS will conduct a medical review of the incident. Woody Ling lives at the address where it was found, and he was certainly convinced. It just looked like real. Oh so you don't know who thought that was really a dead baby? Oh, my God. You can't tell it wasn't the picture like that. Meanwhile, other big questions remain, like, was this a deliberate hoax? I'm guessing it was just a toy left over. I mean, it's possible. A toy that somehow fooled the best of them, leaving plenty of blame to go around, but also leaving many breathing a sigh of relief. Thank God it wasn't a baby. You know, thank God it wasn't a real baby. And you can bet there will be a thorough follow-up investigation. The question being asked, why didn't EMS do a physical exam before declaring this baby or this doll deceased? Were they, in fact, somehow impeded by the fact that police were calling this an active criminal investigation? Okay. Or were they just thoroughly convinced? My name's Ian. All right, guys, one more. Very weird, very weird, but thank God it's not a real baby. Relief after this realistic baby doll lying face down in this grassy area tricked everyone, including EMS, firefighters, police, and a jogger who called 911 and said she saw a dead baby. I came out this morning, an officer said to me that they found a, a one-month-old baby infant? That was around 8.15. Police immediately closed off streets around 215th Street and 35th Avenue in Bayside, believing they were investigating the body of a dead baby. Detectives set up a crime scene tent as a way to secure the area. Normal protocol. By 9.15, detectives are still looking at this as a dead baby. An hour later, still an investigation on a baby found. The doll was wearing a diaper and had bruising. Shortly after 11, we get confirmation it is a doll and not a baby. Very relieved. Very relieved. Every, I mean, I, I, just talking to parents, they're, they're all relieved that it was not real. It's a joke. I don't know why people are doing this. In a statement, the FDNY said when first responders, including police, arrived, it appeared to be a baby with discoloration consistent with signs of prolonged death. But thankfully, it was actually a lifelike prop. EMS. Hi, Christina. I'll talk to you guys after the video. The incident. I'm not sure if they're allowed to touch it. I don't think they can look at the baby until coroners get there. Police sources tell PIX11 a real crime scene of a baby found dead takes time. It's a tedious task. And no one's at fault here.
And as you heard, the men in the piece there asking whether or not police or EMS can touch a baby or a doll at a scene. The answer is yes. Police believe this was a prank and they're looking for whoever's responsible. By the way, the doll was wearing a shirt on it that said the crawling dead. So, of course, police are looking into that as well for now. The five men. spent hours this gruesome discovery turned elaborate hoax in Queens now the NYPD spent hours this morning investigating what they thought was a dead baby but it turns out it was a doll CBS 2's Andrea Grimes live now in Bayside with more on how police were fooled Andrea well, Christine, not just police were fooled, but EMS as well, which initially declared the doll dead, thinking it was a real baby. The FDNY says EMS is now conducting a medical review of the incident. The crime scene this morning spans several blocks surrounding this yellow tarp underneath what investigators initially believed was a dead baby. The news brought tears to Bayside residents like Lori Scalero. So I came down to just see what was going on. That's terrible. The NYPD initially confirmed this morning that an infant was found unresponsive at 215th Street and 35th Avenue, right across from Crocher on Park. They said EMS pronounced the baby dead at the scene. The supposed body found in the grass on the side of Alexander Lara's home, where police knocked on his door. And they were like, oh, there's a dead body. I'm like, what? Like, that's new to me. Like, this neighborhood you know, never happens. But turns out all of this was an elaborate hoax, a joke on the biggest police department in the country. About four hours after the initial 911 call, the NYPD confirmed this was not a baby, but instead a lifelike doll. Wow, that looks pretty real. It's nonsense. Like, bringing all these cops and just finding out, like, it was just a doll. It's just really dumb. Police sources agree the doll looked very real, colored to appear bruised and partially decomposed, found face down. The NYPD crime scene unit, which investigates major cases, arrived after EMS. Sources say the unit was also initially fooled, but when they turned the supposed baby over, the word... Okay, guys, so I'm going to end it right there. Um, I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to basically give it, give it to you straight. Um, this this particular situation is a tough one. Okay, the police are taxed with trying to maintain integrity of a crime scene. Okay, we have a, a child potentially here that was left for dead. Looked like had bruising on it. It was a pretty convincing doll. Uh, the police officers that respond they don't do anything with the investigation other than secure the scene. So they secured the scene. EMS came. So the emergency medical technicians are the ones who actually did vitals or put, you know, checked for a heartbeat, checked for a pulse. So no police officers touched that uh, fake baby, okay? Um, after EMS left, uh, various supervisors, sergeant, lieutenant, captain, duty captain, they all come onto the scene. Hello, Michelle, good to see you. A very sick joke. Um, so the police department wants to not taint any evidence. If in fact, this is obviously they treated it like it was a real homicide uh, of a child. So crime scene, the crime scene detectives, the homicide detectives, crime scene, those are the guys who should have perhaps maybe figured it out because they are allowed to move within reason. Okay. I've been to hundreds. Now, I'm not saying this just to, I'm not saying this to say it, but I've been to hundreds of crime scenes, hundreds over my time, maybe more than 500 uh, homicide scenes. And some seasoned detectives may, with gloves on, lift a part of a body up to look what's underneath to see if there's any other evidence. 
but there's no moving total bodies, moving them around. It's just maybe a tilt or a look. And as photographs, we, we, we wait for the forensics and the um, um, medical examiner's office to come. So the medical examiner's office came and then there's a doctor, there's a medical examiner who's a doctor. They, they do the autopsies back at the medical examiner's office. He or she came out and said, this is not real. Okay, so I feel that the responding police officers did the right thing. Uh, the EM, EMS personnel, they should have, because they see so many uh, deceased, bo you know, dead bodies. They see so many people who have passed on. Uh, they dropped the ball. The fire department came as well. Uh, they have an emergency uh, EMTs from the fire department. So there's a lot of people that, um, a lot of people that are embarrassed. Uh, I'm embarrassed for my police department but they were doing in good faith the right thing to try to preserve the crime scene and not to try to touch, because if that in fact was a real child, that would be major, major breaking news, major um, news attention and media. Uh, you know, you'd want to bring closure and bring justice for a deceased child. So you got to put yourself in the shoes of the investigating uh, police, the police that were investigating. They didn't want to taint a crime scene, uh, but uh, again, it's a black eye for the police department. Hello, Veggie Vibes. Good to see you. Um, it, it, you know, it's um, it's a difficult situation to be in. I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, mulling this one over. You guys saw the video. Uh, you saw the three or four clips that I played for you. Um, it is not something that a sane person whoever did that hello mary london good to see you uh they did the medical examiner got called out and came to the scene and they were the ones that determined that it was not a real uh dead child it, they they determined it was a doll so i feel that uh seriously i feel that um whoever is responsible for this should be uh brought to justice i don't know of any criminal charges that could be placed against them other than obstructing governmental administration you know uh, wasting resources for hours uh, f uh from the police department hello kathy from texas hello black rose hello katrina uh jana uh i i saw you were here thank you so much for joining um so again you know i didn't want to go live with this but i didn't want people to get the wrong impression uh, I like to speak about uh, when the police do good things, and I also like to speak about when the police kind of drop the ball. And I feel that my my counterparts, my the men and women of the police department, are just human, and uh, they made a mistake here. And this is gonna there'll be all kinds of investigations, and there'll be all kinds of looking into this uh, from the EMS, from the fire, FDNY, from the uh, NYPD. Uh, so a lot of people will have a lot of questions to answer. Um, so um, whoever obviously is responsible for this is a real crappy person. This um, do you you saw the woman in the um, in the news article you, you, uh, on the news clip? There was a woman from the neighborhood that was visibly shaken. She was crying. You know, uh, thank you, Katrina. There was a woman who lived in that neighborhood who thought that there was a real dead baby dumped on the sidewalk there. I mean, you guys saw how how real life that looked. So, um, you know, think about the police officers and EMS and the fire uh, who thought it was a real um, homicide victim. You know, they were traumatized as well by that. Um, the technical, the technical rule is I don't know of any charges that could be brought other than obstructing governmental administration, you know, um, you know, keeping police personnel off the street for investigating real crimes. Um, it, it did look, it, it was a very good prop. It was a very good prop that was probably used in a movie, uh, or used, you know, whatever. I don't know. Uh, you know, so um, I, I'm uh, Debbie. I'm not saying they completely dropped the ball, but somebody should have caught on to that 
it shouldn't have dragged on for hours and hours and hours. And it shouldn't have came down to a medical examiner coming out from the chief medical examiner's office to tell seasoned detectives from the homicide bureau and the crime scene that, that it was a doll. They should have figured that out. They should have figured that out. So that's all I'm saying. Uh, I'm not saying it was a, a ball drop. I'm saying they did the right thing by preserving the crime scene. But, uh, you know, there was a lot of bosses. There was a lot of big bosses, captains, lieutenants, sergeants uh, that came onto that scene that, um, you know, uh, should have caught on to that. So, um, again, you know, I'm not kicking them when they're down, but I'm also I'm pointing out, uh, uh, you know, a police department like the NYPD that deals with you know, hundreds of homicides a year. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just surprised that, um, I'm surprised that they got tricked. They got tricked. Um, it was placed there, uh, and uh, a 911 caller uh, called up and said that they saw this child uh, supposedly on the sidewalk. Uh, you saw the the spot where it was. Uh, would you be able to tell it was a prop? I I don't I don't know I wasn't there so I'm not sure, but they tricked the best police department in the world. So um, um, usually Debbie, that's how it goes. You know when emergency medical services, when the EMS comes onto the scene and they use a stethoscope to listen, and you know they got gloves on so they're not touching skin to skin, but you know. This is a very sensitive thing when you have a child that was uh, alleged to be deceased out in public and that looked like a major, you know, major trauma. And, you know, that was um, that was not just a baby that was left on the ground and passed away. That was uh, doctored up with all kinds of bruising and all kinds of ugliness looking to it. So it looked like a heinous crime scene. So they probably just kind of you know, went into high gear, you know, uh, and they were trying to preserve a horrific, what they thought to be a horrific crime scene, and it really wasn't. So it's a tough call. It's hard to Monday morning quarterback it from here, but I have to say that, you know, it, it, either way, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a huge eyesore. It's a, it's a black eye for the investigative branch uh, you know, whoever responded right up from the cops all the way up the line to the rank and file to the to the big bosses that came onto the scene there, they're going to have some explaining to do. And uh, they'll be down at one police plaza tomorrow morning uh, having to talk to uh, some of the higher ups that and it's funny, the higher ups have no clue of what goes on out in the street because they're behind a desk. But the, the desk guys are going to ask the street guys, what happened? Why did this happen? And they're going to have to have some answers. Um, so, yeah, uh, it was a it was a, a baby that uh, was a prop that looked realistic, very realistic. It was very lifelike. You guys saw the video. You saw what this what this uh, prop looked like. Uh, and it was, uh, and they tricked, they tricked the NYPD, which is unbelievable. I am totally, totally shocked that not only the NYPD, the fire department, FDNY, the EMS, which is part of the fire department and crime scene. So patrol, the fire department, EMS, crime scene unit and homicide. And then the MA, the medical examiner came when the fifth person came, the fifth, uh, the fifth agency came, they were able to figure it out. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Katrina. Thank you. Thank you. So anybody have any questions? I'm going to take five uh, minutes of questions and then I'm going to go, go and go to sleep because I got to get up early tomorrow. I think the, the person who did this wanted to make the NYPD look foolish. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a possibility. That's an extreme possibility. Um, Thank you for that Amazon affiliate. Guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please uh, hit the subscribe button here in the corner down here and hit your notification bell for more videos from Duty Ron, retired New York City police detective. Also, if you're not subscribed to me here, subscribe to me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook 
those three avenues of social media, you can get notifications if you miss the YouTube notification. Uh, I have a Snapchat as well. It's Duty Ron on Snapchat. If you want to follow me there, I share occasionally to Snapchat as well. Uh, but my main shares go YouTube community post, YouTube notifications, uh, Twitter, and Instagram and Facebook. So those five are really what I use. Uh, if you want to go to um, if you want to go to my website, it's dutyron.com. Miss Justice, the standard procedure. Uh, for EMS is to check for vitals and to pronounce the either person or um, baby, whatever, whatever the uh, whatever the case is. If it's a, a dead human body, EMS comes and they make the official pronounce. They so EMS officially pronounced the prop, the doll, as DOA, dead on arrival. The police department doesn't do that. Um, so it was EMS that uh, mainly, you know, made that determination, but the police are taxed with the investigation. So we take the investigation over once the pronunciation is, is done. EMS does not do anything other than say, this is a dead human body. And, uh, and then we go from there with the investigation. Uh, so that's it. Uh, we do. We definitely do, Jonna. We have the highest close rate of homicide cases in the country. Uh, our homicide close rate is really high. Uh, so uh, the, the New York City police detectives are the greatest detectives in the world. But it just goes to show that, um, you know, human error comes with any level of experience. You can have the best surgeon, the best doctor, the best mechanics, the best, uh, you know, the best of anything is we're human, so we're subject to making errors. Hello, Nikki Mac. Good to see you, Nikki Mac. I'm so glad you're here. Um, hello, uh, Lady. Good to see you, Lady. Um, so it was terrible for all first responders. If you guys didn't see my video that I played, go and watch it. Um, I'll play it one more time. Uh, just before I go, it's only about two minutes. I'll play it one more time before I go. Hello, Life of MC, all the way from the Philippines. Great to see you. Great to have you. Thank you for joining. So, guys, I'm going to get ready to go to bed. I will play, um, yeah, definitely traumatic. Um, people who saw this and thinking it was real from the neighborhood, all the law enforcement and all the first responders had to deal with that. So, I'm going to show it one more time. Um, I'll show it one more time for the new people who just arrived. Uh, this is New York City Police Department investigating uh, uh, what they thought was a deceased baby on the side of the street uh, on a sidewalk, but it was just a, a movie prop. It was a doll, a realistic doll, uh, and um, just crazy that um, it was crazy that it took all that time to uh, for them to figure it out. So um, here we go. I'll roll it, and then that'll be the last that I play of this. Uh, and then you, that's for everybody that's going to just arrive onto the set here. Okay, here we go. Hi, Linda. I'll talk to you after the video. Whoops, I gotta go back. View of the no, a gruesome no discovery turned elaborate hoax in Queens now. The NYPD spent hours this morning investigating what they thought was a dead baby, but it turns out it was a doll. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes live now in Bayside with more on how police were fooled. Andrea. Well, Christine, not just police were fooled, but EMS as well, which initially declared the doll dead, thinking it was a real baby. The FDNY says EMS is now conducting a medical review of the incident. The crime scene this morning spans several blocks surrounding this yellow tarp underneath what investigators initially believed was a dead Good night, baby. Meg. Love you. The news brought tears to Bayside residents like Lori Scalero. So I came down to just see what was going on. That's terrible. 
NYPD initially confirmed this morning that an infant was found unresponsive at 215th Street and 35th Avenue, right across from Crozier on Park. They said EMS pronounced the baby dead at the scene. The supposed body found in the grass on the side of Alexander Lara's home, where police knocked on his door. And they were like, oh, there's a dead body. I'm like, what? Like, that's new to me. Like, this neighborhood you know, never happens. But turns out all of this was an elaborate hoax, a joke on the biggest police department in the country. About four hours after the initial 911 call, the NYPD confirmed this was not a baby, but instead a lifelike doll. Wow, that looks pretty real. It's nonsense. Like, bringing all these cops and just finding out, like, it was just a doll. It's just really dumb. Police sources agree the doll looked very real, colored to appear bruised and partially decomposed, found face down. The NYPD crime scene unit, which investigates major cases, arrived after EMS. Sources say the unit was also initially fooled, but when they turned the supposed baby over, the words, the crawling dead, were on its shirt. They knew something wasn't right. The medical examiner on scene determined the body was fake. John Jay College professor Joseph Jackalone is a retired NYPD sergeant. If uh, I was running an investigation like this, I would be videotaping and taking photos of the onlookers because, in my opinion, that person or persons is in the crowd watching this and enjoying the excitement of it all. The NYPD says they are continuing to investigate this incident. So far, they have not found the person who put that doll in the grass. Reporting live in Bayside, Queens, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Okay, so that's it. Um, by the way, the guy that just Skyped in uh, during that Skype session, I, I know that guy. So... Uh, very true. I had a homicide once where we were in a big crime scene out in a courtyard and we got a call, a 911 caller called in that the actual person who did the shooting was in the crowd watching. They gave us a really uh, accurate description and we arrested, me and my partner arrested the guy at the crime scene. He came back to see the person that he killed and uh, that was one of my uh, one of my homicide arrests that I made during the course of my uh, working on patrol, and that was pretty wild that somebody saw the actual killer. They witnessed him do the shooting, and then the guy had the audacity to come back and watch as we processed the crime scene. Uh, it didn't work out good for him because he was arrested right then and there. Um, anyways, so um, guys... At, at the end of the day, I needed to go live with this. I wanted you guys to hear this. I wanted you to hear my side of it. Uh, the police did the right thing. They processed the crime scene because they were told by different authorities that they had a deceased baby there. That wasn't the case. Um, I feel that seasoned detectives should have maybe took, taken a peek and looked a little bit closer, but I'm not going to Monday morning quarterback it. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Uh, maybe if I was there, I would have done the same thing and not wanted to touch the crime scene or taint it. Uh, they want to preserve the evidence so they can bring justice. Uh, they always return to the scene. There you go, Nikki Mac. That is a very true statement. Um, I don't, I don't think they always do, but they like to see what's going on. You know, uh, so that is it. Uh, I agree, Mary. I agree. So uh, we're all relieved, Life of MC, that it's not a real baby. Um, but it's just, you know, it's just shocking. That's the first time I've ever heard of m my police department, the New York City Police Department, being tricked like that. First time ever. So uh, the doll was definitely convincing. The doll was definitely c convincing. So, um, so anyways, guys, let me go. I'm going to wish you guys a good day. Tuesday. I hope you guys have a great hump day. Tomorrow is hump day. We are halfway through the week. Debbie McCabe has arrived on the scene as I am signing off. Debbie, love and respect. Good to see you. Uh, Linda, thank you so much for being always being in here. And when you don't make the lives, you always um, come in on the replay. So thank you, Linda from Canada. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Dawn, have a good night. Mary London, 
uh, much love and respect to you. Am, um, Black Rose, thank you for putting up my Amazon affiliate. Adacore, have a good night. Michelle Vogel, love and respect. Debbie Mack, always hearts for you. And Nikki Mack, hearts for you. Jana, love and respect to you. Meg, thank you for being in here. Guys, I got to go hit the hay. It's time for me to get some rest. I will speak to you soon. Debbie, very good. Thank you, Deb. Thank you so much. Deco Paint and Tea, much love and respect to you. Uh, hello, Just Believe. Good to see you. Uh, Heo, Veggie Vibes, I'll talk to you soon. Guys, good night from New York City. Much love and respect from the NYPD. Peace, guys.